We've had some technical program, problems. How many of you would have liked to know the answer to those questions where you were 23 years old? How many of you would have liked to know the answers to the questions that have been posed? Who tells us what we should do? Who helps us to solve those problems? Anybody knows? Who can accompany, go hand in hand with us to solve all those problems? Who can accompany us? Who can help us? Somebody that has gone through that path before, somebody that is experienced enough. They, I'm here to speak about a leader mother. A leader mother, up to now I have been a speaker. The other day I had to dance in front of 22,000 people and I wasn't as nervous as I am. Now, I'm a, a leader mother, it's a, it's a project. And first of all, I'd like to launch several questions. Any, any of you has had a mother? Maybe you didn't understand my, my question. Everybody has a mother. We all had a mother, and that's a very important thing that joins us, that links us. Uh, she can be a person that goes with that, who agrees with me that we need prepared leaders, well, trained leaders to lead this world. Yes, most of you. Good. I'll pass some slides. We need highly qualified, highly prepared leaders to lead, to create a new world. The people are demanding changes. Young people are, well, shouting, and they, that's how they represent it. Today's children will be tomorrow's mm, leaders. They will pay our pensions, they will manage our banks, as maybe the way they are led nowadays or somehow differently. So these children are influenced by several uh, actors. Personal development is started up when we are children. So it's easier to ask a young person to open up a new market some abroad compared to people that are older. When we are vulnerable when we are children. We, need, we, we are curious, we want to learn, we want to be, become astronauts, and when we leave the educational system, we don't want to be astronauts anymore, and we want to become civil servants. But who, what people has an influ, have an influence in the child's development? Parents, of course, yes. The whole society, society as a whole, teachers, the mass media, their culture, friends, of course, yes. But we are always always demanding education. But I'm here to speak about something that is very important, the family environment. Family is very important because they are at the roots of what we will become in the future. If your mother, your father tells you, you should fight and struggle to, to achieve what you want to become. So there will be more probability that you become an entrepreneur compared to those parents that tell you, do not take any risk, always be on the safe side. Same goes when we are in the slides. If your mother is always, hey, take care, take care, don't fall down, do, you damage yourself. So that person, that child, when he becomes an adult, will be afraid of, of risking, of taking risks. In Spain, they tend to tell us that failure is a bad thing. When you go to America, somebody says, he failed with three companies, he did that correctly, right, that... So they are not afraid, they are not ashamed, because they learned by failing. A very important part of a child's development is mother, motherhood, mothers. So I'm here um, as a leader mother. So usually I give talks, um, and courses about leadership for top positions hmm? or medium positions. So people share their talents with a small part, a small section of society. Mothers have a lot of influence in society as a whole. I was talking to an executive and entrepreneur this morning, and the mother is a person that has so much power that she can mm, make a child become a genius or a genius, a good genius, or a, bad, a genius that does things wrongly. There was a genius that sent um, um, explosives, um, explosively. 
Let's say bombs. And a very important thing has been said, depending on our attitude, on our behavior, facing, when facing challenges, we will achieve our goals or not. Ricardo said that in Spain, only 17% of people trust in themselves, trust their that they will open up a path. Whereas in the States, 65% of people trust their own um, resources, their own possibilities. <laughs> Ricardo said that his mother told me, as you are so talented, um, try to get a post at La Caixa, the savings bank. That's what his mother told him to do. So a mother's attitude, I mean, makes a difference. Who's aware of how much his or her mother influenced on their way, the way they are, their attitude towards life? Some of you are not aware, are not conscious, but I'm sure that she influenced in, in the way you are now. The people, when they are 20, 30 years after we left uh, school, and a mother is always there, even though she's 80 and you are 40. So how the, the, do mothers' influence have an impact on the way we are? It's practical things. Values for life, foundations. We need to create the right foundations, the right base. Otherwise, we cannot dance. Mothers are important and customs um, make us. Because habits, customs, the fact of doing things regularly leads to results. If I do not eat um, healthily, healthy food, I won't develop that habit. If I do not do any sports, I'll physically have a different shape, a different body. My muscles will be completely different. So habits, customs, um, if you are accustomed to smoke, you will become addictive to smoking. And this is created from the early ages, when we are at home, when we haven't arrived at school yet. And mothers educate with their words, with their actions, with their feelings when they encourage us or not. And sometimes we are not aware of the messages we are receiving at home. Some entrepreneurship courses are organized, but it's difficult to put an end with those foundations or to break with those bases because they are so much rooted on us. So mothers, well, they, they transfer messages with generosity, unconditionally, the more prepared a teacher is, the better prepared the student will be. So therefore, who trains the trainer? Who trains mothers? We've created an organization I'm representing here, which is called Madre Leader. Leader Mother, it's a social innovation organization based on um, values, worldwide values for social change, because by educating people that they are educating future leaders who will manage to change things. How, so how can we transfer that knowledge and make it closer to mothers? Mothers are leaders by essence, by nature. They are entrepreneurs. Personal, personal leadership. Mothers tend to forget about their own needs. How many of you have traveled on a plane? A flu. You remember the steward, uh, the, the steward is when she does, when the mask goes down for accident. Who should you use it before? You should put it to yourself or, or, the, or, or your children. Who should be using it first? Mothers, children? Exactly. First, the mother, the adult. Otherwise, you will fall down and you will faint and the, the, the child will have no, nobody else to care for him. So first of all, we need to look for ourselves. We are leaders and as educators, leaders in healthcare, physical, mental, emotional health. If you are not emotionally healthy, things are, do not go very well at school. And that child, that boy, that girl won't be balanced enough. Entrepreneurship. Mothers are entrepreneurs. Penetra. By essence, they decided to become mothers, to take care of another human being. And some mothers cannot go back to the labor market. It's really hard for, hard for them when they abandon the, the labor market. 
Do you remember an ad from a brand? brand? Remember? They rejected the mother and the child went and they said, how come you rejected my mother? She's so experienced, blah, 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 blah. How can, are we going to do? Organize webinars, face-to-face -face courses, open internet seminars with a lot of speakers, more than 30 participants, experts, international experts and professionals in their own matters, in their own topics. So mothers will attend those webinars on the, on the internet. And we have a slogan. We need something that is beneficial to all of us, something that is done jointly. We want mothers to grow together and to share that with everybody. So we will ben we benefit 10,000 people in 10 years. How many of you believe that by investing in mothers, we will be investing in better in leaders in a better world? Thank you.